Hello, I'm here with another hopefully happy little grammar lesson. And this time, hopefully I'll get it right the first try. Today we are discussing with, to, and on. <laughs> Did I say to? <laughs> we are, today we are discussing with, to, and on. I went to the store with her on Saturday. Pretty straightforward. I went to the store with her on Sunday. I went to the store with her on Sunday. I went to the store with her on Sunday. And then the next example, I love to dance with my granddaughter on Saturday. I love to dance with my granddaughter on Saturday. I love to dance with my granddaughter on Saturday. Um, let's see here. With is basically a way of saying, you know, together. Now, on, we use it for the dates, like Saturday, Sunday, that kind of stuff. Like when it happened in the past or will happen in the future. And it's just generally when we use on. Okay. I need to pay with a check on Friday. I need to pay with a check on Friday. I need to pay with a check on Friday. Again, we use uh, to say how we're going to pay. And with is he's paying with a check. And the on is to help um, the preposition to show when we are doing it. And it's on Friday. I ran to her and hugged her with both arms. So she rested her head on my shoulder. I ran to her and hugged her with both arms. So she rested her head on my shoulder. I ran to her and hugged her with both arms, so she rested her head on my shoulder. I ran to her and hugged her with both arms, so she rested her head on my shoulder. On's kind of doing the location thing, and with is basically showing what you were using, and that was your arms. And two, in this case, is bridging between the verb and what you were going to you were going to her so i walked to the store on third street with my child i walked to the store on third street with my child i walked to the store on third street with my child and the next example I went to see a movie at the theater on 5th Avenue with a friend. I went to see a movie at the theater on 5th Avenue with a friend. I went to see a movie at the theater on 5th Avenue with a friend. Basically, the easiest way to learn the difference between like the to and the at and the on and the with is just to get a whole bunch of example sentences. And that's pretty much what I've been doing is giving you how they're used in a sentence because you can't mix them up. Like I went with C doesn't work. Or I went to see a movie with the theater. You can't go with the theater, obviously. So, And sometimes just seeing them in sentences where they can't be interchangeable is kind of the easiest way to learn. 
I ran to her house on 9th Avenue with my dog running behind me. I ran to her house on 9th Avenue with my dog running behind me. I ran to her house on 9th Avenue with my dog running behind me. If you have any questions on how to use with, to, or on, um, feel free to leave them in the comments. And also, if you aren't sure how to use some of them in a sentence, if you put a comment on using with, to, or on, I will be happy to just tell you if you got it right or not. It's pretty simple. Um, just kind of showing examples to help people understand how they're used. And I think the simplest way to learn grammar is just by seeing the simple examples of it used in daily life. Because I've told you how to do it specifically, it doesn't really work as well as just looking at example sentences. I mean, you can memorize the prepositions, which we were forced to do in high school when I was a kid, and it sucked. They don't really help to memorize. It's just kind of trial and error. Just keep at it until you get it right. Um, I hope it's been a blessing. Please like, subscribe, comment. Have a great day. Thanks.